guys in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys how to DIY a giant candle if you're not interested in the exterior and only interested in the tutorial I'm gonna put on the screen where you should skip to don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram at interior.brick and enjoy the rest of the video all right, so the first thing you're going to need is a large bowl. I ended up getting mine at Goodwill. Just to let you guys know that if you're going to get a large bowl in height wise, you're most likely going to have to customize your own wicks. So just be careful on how tall the bowl is. So the first item we're going to be using is this Christmas decorative ribbon that I honestly just found in my craft drawer. So I'm just going to take it and start wrapping it around my bowl. I use hot glue every like third or four row, which was enough adhesive to keep it sturdy. So because I only wanted my ribbon to go halfway up on my bowl, I cut my neck strip in half. So because I'm going to be painting it, I took some painter's tape and I put it around the edge of the ribbon. Alright, so now we're going to take this base. I honestly went shopping inside of my own house. So like, it's really hard to say where I got this from, but I do know it's an old base to a vase. So I'm just going to go ahead and start painting it because I'm going to be needing this later on in the video. Alright guys, so now for the wax. So there's two ways to do this. There's an affordable way and then there's an, a quality way. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do it the more affordable way. But if you do want a quality candle, then I would suggest you go to Michaels for your wax. Or if you want to go mediocre, then Walmart. What I ended up doing was going to Dollarama and just picking up eight of these candles but I actually ended up only using six so technically this cost twenty dollars just for the wax unlike Michaels that would be about I would say between thirty to sixty dollars for not even half of this quantity so because I didn't want to put this whole entire candle in the pot to melt I ended up just shaving them down which helped with the melting process later on so you want your wax to be double the actual amount that you want. So once my water was boiled, I ended up taking a really large bowl to put on top and then I started throwing my large pieces of candle inside of there which took forever and then gradually I started adding my smaller pieces. So once your oil is all melted, you want to check the temperature of your wax and it should be between 175 to 185 Fahrenheit. 
So next you're going to take your fragrance oil of choice and the ratio is 10% of the quantity of wax you have. So because I cheaped out on the wax, I did not cheap out on the fragrance oil and honestly this combination smells so good. Alright, so now to place our wicks. Just a reminder that if you are going to get a bowl larger in height, just know you're probably going to have to customize your own wicks. So now I'm going to start placing my wicks where I want to place them. Once you figured out where you're going to be placing them, go ahead and take some clear tape and start placing it at the bottom of your wicks. So basically right now I'm building a center tool. Shout out to Sherry Vegas on YouTube. I actually followed her tutorial on how to build your own center tool using skewers. So that's basically what I'm doing right now so that when I'm ready to pour the wax, all of my wicks are standing up straight. So because we don't have a heating gun, I'm gonna go ahead and use a blow dryer to heat up the glass so that it's around the same temperature as the wax. This will help minimizing shrinkage. So now it's time to pour your wax in, but you want to make sure to cool your wax around 160 Fahrenheit. So I let it sit overnight. So now it's time to take off the skewers, cut the wicks, and boom, we have a DIY giant candle. Alright, so one more step to make it aesthetically pleasing, we're going to go ahead and grab that stand that I painted earlier and I'm just going to put the candle on top of it. You can glue it. Um, in my case, I'm just going to leave it like that because I know I'm going to change my mind in later on. But here you guys go. Here is my DIY giant candle. <laughs> <laughs> 